Hey, what's going on everyone? Mike Rondo here in the Shed of Solitude. Uh, and today, as you can tell by the title, today I got my first Peterson pipe. Um, it's something I've, I've always wanted. I just wasn't sure which one to get, uh, which one to go with. I wasn't too sure, but my friend N.W. Piper, who's been, well, he's had these Peterson, he's, he's got a Peterson pipe and it's, it's, uh, it fascinated me enough to pull the trigger. Now I know, I know I've been looking for other pipes, a few Halloween pipes, uh, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, there's uh, some rat raised pipes that I was looking at, weren't available at, you know, I could probably find them on second hand somewhere. Um, what else? There was a few others, uh, the Dracula pipe, um, and I was going to make that my first Peterson, but I held off. And then I saw N.W. Piper with his Peterson, his pub pipe, and well, that's what I ended up with. So I'll show you, I'll show you. So this is the thing there. That's the little uh, thing that comes with. Um, I got to say, this, right out of the box, this is pretty fancy compared to my Savinelli's, um, so to speak. Um, so I opened it up earlier because I couldn't help myself. And uh, this is where I got it from, in case you're wondering. Because um, I was like, well, you see, he said it was a big pipe. It looked big on, on screen. I mean, look at this bag, by the way. This is a beautiful bag um, from Peterson. This is not the cheesy bag that I get with my Savinelli's, which is surprising, considering Savinelli is a good pipe uh, manufacturer. But anyway, so I'll open this up. And I was a little confused because I'm like, oh, did I, did the pipe break? Because <laughs> the stem is separated from, from the pipe. And, and there's a reason for that because this thing is a monster. Uh, it's like Bertha here. If I can get, <laughs> if I can get it out of the bag. Um, hold on. Bear with me. I, there we go. So as you can see, this is, this is the, uh, the pipe. Look how deep that is. That's, that's, uh, there you go. There's a good measurement of depth, depth. Um, but it's a, it's a beautiful pipe. Um, and of course this is, that's the stem. And there's a reason for that. Cause when I was watching his videos and he's smoking, I'm like, NW, why is, why don't you have the stem all the way in? What is going on? Why, why don't you have that in there uh there you go see some more of it so very craggy kind of thing but um the reason i chose this is because i don't know if it's um <laughs> the beard that he has that's i'm very beard envious of his beard and the way it just hung down you know it would and he was talking. It was just great. Um, and uh, I gotta be honest, this this a little confusing for me. I'm gonna have to get used to that. So I just before I get into first light and all that stuff in a second. So I like the idea of just you know reading and all that with this pipe. This is a very comfortable pipe, which is funny because I don't typically like this. Um, Oh, well, I got my mouth. Um, Dutch style, if you will. I don't know what they call it. Uh, the Sherlock Holmes style. It's really... But this isn't exactly like the Sherlock Holmes one. Um, but it's very comfortable. And uh, I look forward to uh, smoking this. And, of course, it's such a big bowl. Like he said, you can sit here and contemplate, meditate uh read do whatever you want to do and it's really i mean it's not going to stand up it's not the flat stand up one which is fine it fits in my little leather uh thing over here the pipe stand but we'll see i don't know does this look uh mike rondo like or is this not not um not my style i don't know we'll see uh, this, I don't know if you'll see this too much on the, uh, the YouTube videos because this is more of my reading, 
and figuring life out kind of pipe, I think. But in any case, I'm going to smoke. Unfortunately, the tobacco I have that's on its way uh, won't be here till probably tomorrow. It should have been here today, but it'll probably be here tomorrow. Uh, so I couldn't figure out what I was going to have for a tobacco. And I was trying to find something for uh, the Pacific Northwest um, or something of that nature to pay tribute to N.W. Piper, who got me into this thing. And um, unfortunately, I didn't have anything of that. I almost went with Seattle uh, Pipe Club Plum Pudding, but it's a little too early for that. I think that'll be good in this, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to have my favorite tobacco, which is Virginia Cream. So I'm going to pack this pipe. Uh, I'm going to smoke for a little bit, get a feel for this pipe, and then I'll come back and, and talk about it and um, go from there. Um, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. I was going to, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Just, I'll be back. Magic of editing. I'll be right back, I swear. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back real quick because I wanted you to see the first light. And then I'll go smoke for a little bit and come back. Um, so let's get the first light here on the, on the Peterson. Um, hmm. Anyway, that's the first light. I will uh, be back in a few to let you know what I think about the smoking and, and my experience, uh, initial experience. So uh, I'll be back again. All right, I'm back with some interesting things, I think. This is probably the most interesting pipe I've smoked um, in a while. And I'm trying to remember because I had the Herb Booth pipe, and that's not filtered, and I had my cob a couple of cobs the other day and i'm trying to remember if it was this is unique um the way the smoke is drawn it i feel like it's it comes at me faster and i don't know if that makes any sense to anyone but um it feels like it's drawn it throws me off because it feels like it's not, you know, I have my filtered pipes, my 320 and everything. And there's like a, a draw that, I guess it's slow, but it's it's steady and it's it's consistent. It's fine. This just seems like it's whew, right at you. And not in a bad way. Because I like it. Uh, this is very interesting. I didn't think I'd like this. <laughs> However, there is a drawback. And this could be a me thing. It's something I got to get used to. And I've, uh, I've choked on the smoke a little bit. Because when I'm smoking. Or if I'm like right here. The way it hangs. Sorry for talking like a goofball. The smoke kind of gets right back in my face. Uh, of course, the blend I'm smoking is a bit of a smoky blend. So that's something I got to be cautious about. Um, the other thing I was concerned with was, for, for some reason of late, I've been <laughs> uh, a, a spitter not a spitter but like I've been a lot of saliva and spit getting in my pipes for some reason but this is doing well and I know uh, N.W. Piper talked about how these are gurgly none of that right now thankfully um, but as you can see kind of gets my face but doesn't help I have a hat on as well it pushes it right back in my face and I I get it in my nose <laughs> I can finally retrohale right I can finally get the note that way um, but that's a me thing um, but so far I'm liking this this is pretty good 
And again, I really like how how it draws. Man, I'm gonna have to get another one. Damn it! I'm gonna be broke. So speaking of which, I do have another pipe on the way, um, which is all thanks to uh, my good friend Dr. Lester. Uh, I kind of just well, I'll talk about it when it gets here, but. It was inspired by him. It's not coming from him. Um, <laughs> I was tempted to contact him and say, name your price for that pipe, but it worked out for me. So hopefully, I just got the shipping notification today. I bought it last, I think I bought it last night. <laughs> well, yesterday. So hopefully it'll be here by the weekend. That's more Halloween themed. But wow, this is, uh, I don't know, this is like the Kraken, like this, this craggly monster looking thing. But N.W. Piper, you picked a good one, I have to say. I was actually going to think I was going to have this, not like it so much. And then ship it off to you <laughs> and say, uh, we'll make some sort of trade. I'm sure you had a 320 around, <laughs> a line around that you didn't like. But I got to say, now would I get another one of these? <laughs> I don't want to say never say never. Um, but this is kind of like a special one-off thing. I still like my 320s and all my other pipes and stuff. I... I'm not sure I would, well, I don't know. I really like this. <laughs> Hard to say, but because I like the draw on this and and with Virginia cream, oh, it's a good combination. I have to say, uh, my first Peterson, I'm pretty happy and impressed. Man, I, I don't have to light too much. And of course, Sherlock Holmes, of course. You, you can't have any any other tamper with this than Sherlock, right? Of course, now I gotta fire up, but man. I think it hangs pretty good. I like it. This is going to be uh, perfect for reading. And I got to be honest, this style, that tip, I really, it really helps. Like, it holds it pretty good for me. I don't know if I'll add a rubber bit um, around here. I don't know. We'll see if that's even possible with with the way this is. But anyway, wow, great pipe. Uh, hunt one down if you can. Uh, I think this is the last one. On tobaccopipes.com, um, but I'm, I know you can find them out there. This is a beautiful pipe. I mean, I was, and I, this thing's a big honking pipe. Like this is a, this is definitely a pipe that you're going to be thinking about things and uh, contemplating. This is really good. This is like a, I don't know. I got to do a video on my pipes because I was thinking of this today. As I was going through my uh, list of pipes, I got like 20 something now. And I'm like, if I could just have seven pipes, one for each day, which ones would I keep? The ones that I would keep and will to my daughter, uh, to the grandkids, that type of thing, which ones would they be? I may do that at the end of the year. We'll see. Anyway, I've taken up enough time. 
just wanted to get on here and say uh, this was great. Uh, happy I got this pipe. More surprised than anything else because I didn't think I would really like this all that much and I was going to send this off to N.W. Piper, but man, I like how it draws. It's just really good. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh, Thursday, I'll probably have a video. I'm off Thursday. And then, obviously, Friday, Saturday, you know, all that stuff. So we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good Monday. I uh, hope it wasn't too much of a hassle for you. And I will see you guys next time. Happy piping.